Hey YouTube, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing. I just got back from Colorado and I have packages that I had ordered prior to my birthday trip and so happy birthday to me they're back so I wanted to share with you the unboxing for them um, welcome to my channel everyone I'm so excited about these packages I'm forgetting my intro welcome to my channel my name's Lisa I do things fountain pen stationery related and occasionally I do art related things as well and I have a do I'm gonna have to do this in two parts I can tell already because I've got another art related thing to my right and I don't even have it in frame for today's shooting so let's get into it um, I got this package from 26 market out of Canada they had um, things that were on sale so I caught the sale and I just bought a few things from them it was my first time ordering from them so I'm very excited and I can tell you already I forgot what I ordered um, in my travels and let's see here the packaging is their packaging is very sturdy so um, nicely wrapped very secure um, thank you for shopping with us enjoy your day and that was from the 10th of October that I ordered and let's see here and my invoice so let me just see what I got I did not buy a lot of things actually this is more keeping in they had items that I could not find any longer let me zoom in so I can see myself here in the States um, so this is a very simple order from 26 market so I bought a as you know this is my true ride or die EDC carry which is a Midori a6 um, they came out this year with their 15th anniversary and this one is an art print so you can paint this in and it will fill in and i got this one that said um, dance cool vibe so i got this one that was called walnut out of the series um, most of them that they had that were in the art series that i wanted were gone they were sold out so i just got this one i i could do, i could live with this one and what the positivity of this one i really do like that one so i'm going to probably go ahead and watercolor um, in or maybe I'll use acrylic paint because once it's down it's it's um, it's dry it's not gonna move I actually might do it with acrylic paint um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one when I'm ready to use it but right now I'm still using my current a6 I also bought a a6 Midori clear cover uh, for this because I do keep it in either my Sojourner cover or my um, Superior Labor cover which I currently am using and then I also bought a B6 Slim because that's my other jam in sizing um, I stated before previously for uh, 2024 I'm going to be using B6 sizes um, I find that they're very portable for me and they give me the space that I need without it being too tiny so I've got two clear covers from Midori so that is what I received from I'll keep my little note from them that was my first order from um, 26 market I'll have to use them going forward they did have a lot of things though very discounted like superior labor which you never see so if anybody's in the hunt um, you might want to go ahead and flag I'll put the link below okay moving forward um, getting ready for the 2024 calendar season I went to Arts by Hannah on Etsy and I get my vellum sheets from her that I currently use in my journals and so I love how she does her packaging and posting of sending stuff she excuse me I'm sorry I have the hiccups she is from um, the PA area if I'm correct and so this is um, her packaging she does a really nice job of packaging I'll be trying to save all of this and these are my vellum sheets for 2024 okay so these are the the vellums that I got for 2024 and let's see what they look like I think I got a couple of her stickers another nice really thank you note from Hannah 
And then I've got the ones in the A6 size. And these are her new designs just dropped um, this month in October when I'm filming this. Um, this might be going up in November, but I tend to use her inserts. That's what they look like in vellum. I'll give you one that's uh, more current. I, I'll do these. They're really, really pretty. So I just really, really like to do that. And then I usually, when I'm carrying around this, I do a monthly insert behind that to like blow out my month. Um, so yeah, she's, she's really, really good. But this is like October's uh, layout that I did for 2023. And I really do like her inserts. They're just really, really nicely designed inserts. So I buy her vellums. Um, and so what I'll be doing is I will be continuing that in 2024. And these are the designs. So I've got A6, I've got the B6 slim size for my personal journal. And then I've got the B6 size for um, what I'll be using for Hobonichi or my regular monthly when I did, um, I'm using uh, sterling ink, I'm sorry, for this year. So I'll be using these inserts with my sterling ink as well. So I've got those three, and then I bought just a little cute little sticker sheet that she had put into her shop as well. So I've got that as well. Oh, looks like I've got a little bit of a freebie from her. Let's see what she put in here. Maybe more stickers. Yeah, more little stickers and stuff like that. I love that from two, great for the holiday season. Nice little colored dot, a cat, more colored dots, which will be good because she sells these in her shop. So maybe I'll go ahead and uh, use that. That might be another alternative for bullet pages in the back of the Sterling Inc. Um, calendars once they get here, which mine are on their way, but they're stuck in customs, I think at this point. I still haven't got my stuff from her. So that is the, oops, whoops, my thing is sticking here. That is my order from Hannah that I will be sticking to the side to complement my, sorry for the ASMR here, just getting these back in, to complement uh, my 2024 planning, which I'm very much looking forward to. Put that to the side. And lastly, the thing that I could not really be more excited about um, that was in my mailbox when I got back, um, right before I went on vacation for October, um, my I was perusing um, YouTube and I saw Mike from um, Ink Impressions or um, Ink, his ink, I, Mike Matheson, that's who I saw. I can't remember his channel name, and I don't want to kill it. But I saw him uh, show the Ever, not Ever, no, the Esterbrook Raven. And I passed on it, I saw it, I went online, and then I passed on it by one day, and, and it still stuck in my mind the next day. And I went to go and order it, and it was sold out everywhere. <laughs> um, the Papier Pume out of New Orleans still had them in stock. Um, I wanted to, I almost bought a fine nib one, but I realized after buying the two Estabrooks that I, well, the one Estabrook that I got this year, which was the Botanical Garden, I don't have a medium nib. I've got their specialty nibs, except for the Techo, um, but I don't have like just a regular rounded um, one that I could use that was not a fine. So I bought a medium because that was the only one that I could get, but I figured I could probably go back and buy another fine nib if I really don't like how thick the medium is writing. So that is what I've done. I have a little vial of ink here just for testing purposes, but I did snap on and get this beauty, the Raven in all matte black. I found that by getting the Leonardo Momento with Jonathan Brooks Primary Manipulation 2 pen that I really do like matte finished on um, a fountain pen. This is the warranty card and your registration for your product with Esther Brooke. And then here is the pen that I received. 
and I love uh, the cushion cap that Esterbrook has on it, but I love the fact that they finally developed a pen with a ink window. <laughs> I'm like so excited about that. That was another big pull for me um, in the world of Estabrook. I did get this one in a medium nib. Oh, it's just beautiful. I think I could have gotten the water bottle um, and the paper. I It was a, really wasn't a pull for me. I have a ton of water bottles, so I didn't want to get another one. And the one that I have has a UV filter on it, so I just really didn't feel the need to get that, but I really wanted the pen. That was the star of the show for me. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. And with this pen, you have to undo the back of it, I do believe, yes. And then this is the push filling mechanism that it has. So I forgot to grab paper. Let me grab that, I'll be right back. All right, paper has been grabbed. Let me just put the ends away for the pen. Uh, these are my currently October inked lineup. So I'm going to just add in a little bit more of this random blue ink that's not even marked. Let me just put this to the side. And actually, I don't want to fill this up with this blue ink. I'm going to actually wait and fill up the ink next month. There's been a ton of reviews already out, so if you wanted to see how that works in the filling mechanism, you can do so. Um, but let's just see how this one writes with a medium nib. So let me just dip this in here. And I think I have enough ink on here. And this pen should post which it does beautifully. It's a little back end heavy, so I'm going to go ahead and not do that. Let's do this as a test. Ooh, didn't get enough ink on that nib. Mm. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh yeah. Well, the medium nib is a smooth writer already, I can tell you. So this is the Astrobrook. Sorry for the camera shake. Raven with piston fill. Oh, this pen writes beautifully. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm gonna be inking up two new pens that I have in my arsenal that I have not really written with, which will be, one of them is already going to be the Pilot Ishmi that I got from the DC Pen Show. Um, I'm going to be inking that up in November, um, but this month has been kind of me rehabbing my hand and travel, so I haven't really had a chance to write extensively with a lot of fountain pens, but this one's going to get inked up because this writes great. The quick brown fox jumps thank you youtuber who pointed out it should be jumps and not jumped sorry my watch timer is going off jumps over the lazy dog try not to do camera shake there that is a very nice writing experience, even with a medium nib. And I tend to like my nibs a little bit finer, but that is, it's so smooth. I mean, I have no complaints about this medium nib from Esterbrook. I was kind of staying away with it because I thought the line was gonna be too thick, but it's really not. So that's making me want to look at my receipt, make sure that I really did get a medium nib. I did. I think they might have even tuned it because it's, it almost seems like, I guess the line is even. Look at that. It looks like it's almost been ground down a little bit. The thicks, let me know what you guys think. Because I think the downstroke is a little bit thicker than the side stroke. It's almost like a little bit of a stub to it. Yeah. 
I, I'm sorry. I really do think. I don't know. This is my first Esterbrook medium. Do you guys have Esterbrooks and do they write like this where the downs seem to not be as equal as the horizontals, the verticals? I don't know. Either way, I'm extremely pleased with this pen. I love it. I love how all, it's all matte black. I love the finish on it. I love that satin feel of this pen. So this pen, yeah, I will be keeping this close and tight to the vest. I'm very, very happy with this pen. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. If you bought one of these pens, can you let me know which one you bought and what are your thoughts on the new Raven from Estabrook? I think this one's going to be, they're going to have to keep this one as part of their permanent stock versus it being a limited run. All right, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for staying with me and until next time, stay safe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.